on the health watch today. You actually can blame it on the cough and the sneeze. Doctors say that's how the swine flu is spread. But there are some ways to make sure that someone else's sniffles don't make you sick. NBC 10's Denise Nakano is joining us now with some tips for keeping the swine flu at bay. Denise. Tim and Don, doctors say by the time you say gazoon height, a cough or sneeze has begun to spread its germs to other people. The best defense against the virus is to learn how to keep your spray at bay. The spread of swine flu begins its journey from person to person with a cough or a sneeze. The germ lands, waiting for its next victim, someone to come into contact with it, then touch their nose, mouth, or eyes. Voila, spread completed. Symptoms begin to show in about a day or two. Those first two days can also be a period where you can infect people around you. Unwittingly. Dr. Harry Morris from Philadelphia College of Osteopathic Medicine says there are three ways to pass on a flu virus. One is through someone sneezing and producing large droplets, which go into the air and with gravity fall to the ground. And there's a radius, there's a circle, usually three to six feet, where these things will fall down. Next comes the smaller droplets. They can suspend themselves in the air, just like an aerosol spray and cause the environment around you greater than six feet to be infectious. Closer. And third are the germs that fall on surfaces. And the bad news is they can remain infectious for it's thought up to two days. Only about two hours if they fall on soft surfaces like cushions or clothing. So what do you do if you feel a cough or a sneeze coming on? Just to sneeze into your hands and then immediately clean your hands afterwards. Nope, then everything you touch is infected. No, the proper way to sneeze is to sneeze into your arm, like here. She's right. Into your sleeve. Not so is she. <laughs> Advice that's nothing to sneeze at during the swine flu outbreak. A doctor says a sneeze is a reflex. It happens as a result of irritated airways, the same for a cough. Now, viruses like the swine flu live in the respiratory system, anywhere from our nose to the airways in our lungs.